Hello everyone. Welcome back once again. Today we are going to learn how to troubleshoot site to site VPN traffic in Palo Alto Firewall. For example, you have configured site to site IPsec VPN tunnel in Palo Alto and it is not coming up. It is showing red. Then what are you going to do? In the previous session, we learned how to configure it and we were very happy that it was working very fine. But the problem is when we see issues like this, let us suppose our tunnel is showing down. Now the question comes that what are the things we need to do and how to fix this problem that we are not able to see our tunnel green here, right? This should show green, but by chance it is not showing green. So normally it should show like this, right? But uh, unfortunately it is not showing and uh, now it's our job to troubleshoot that why it is not coming up. So for that one, uh, we have to follow some simple steps. It is the first, it is very recommended to follow the Follow all two articles to troubleshoot such type of issues, right? Now let's do one by one. Let's see the topology first. That what is the topology? What we configured in the previous session, right? We learned how to configure IP sectional. So this was our topology. So the whenever you try troubleshooting this, the first approach you should be that the what are the tunnel interfaces that on which interfaces or between which points you have configured IPsec VPN. So site A having IP address 10.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1 and site 2 is having the IP address 10.1.1.2. .1 .1 the first rule is to rule out the ISP related issues. ISP related means because what is normally happening, you might have taken any lease line from any of the service provider. Let us suppose you have taken from Airtel or you have taken from Vodafone, right? So that can be happening and there you will be connecting to your site to Palo Alto Firewall. So first we have to check that is there not connectivity issues that ISP lease line is down the first thing you have to check, it means how you will check. You will try to ping from this side. Let us suppose from here, you try to ping another side IP address. This, is it reachable or not? Right? So that is very important thing that you can check it first. In some of the scenarios, it has been observed that ping is blocked. Right? So if the ping is blocked, then what are you going to check? In that case, just check the DPD values. DPD means dead P detection. That are you getting the response from another end or you're not getting. So first check is done. Uh, let us suppose you are able to fix ping this issues, right? So your another side is able to ping and from other side you are able to ping. So the first check is done. You can see, you can uh, say that the physical connectivity issues is known you are very sure there is a no problem in palo alto connecting to another palo alto firewall so this is type of training that you just check it uh, or you can say the learning you check it that the connectivity is okay another thing whenever the check is okay now you go to policies is your traffic is allowed to go to this site or not so though this is already being checked from this ping thing like uh, routing policy these are already being checked whenever you try to ping but let us suppose you are not able to ping then you can rule out like it can be isp issues just check with isp there's least like least uh, least line is not down another thing you will check the routing that do you have the routes from this subnet or from this subnet to go to there or not. And same thing from the reverse side, from site to Palo Alto, do we have the routing configured to reach to Palo Alto 1 or not? If 
routing is in place now you check the policies do you have firewall policy in palo alto configured going from palo alto 1 to palo alto 2 same thing is from palo alto 1 to palo alto 2 you have to check the firewall policy is it in place is it working is it forwarding traffic from one zone to another sometimes it can be like this is your dmz zone and this is untrust or external you can say and you do not allow this communication to go outside so make sure that you are having a policy in your palo alto firewall that you allow communication from dmz to untrust zone these three things are fixed once you ping it now it you goes to tunnel that if these parameters are okay now you need to check that your tunnel is why your tunnel is not coming up for that one you check phase wise because we are having two phases of ipsec vpn tunnel or in fact side to side vpn tunnel or another phases as uh, another type of uh, like remote access as well see these type of scenarios are happening whenever you are trying to configure the remote access in palo alto firewalls so then again it is happening but right now we are focusing on site to site vpn troubleshooting so i will be focused on that in order to check that whether phase one is coming or not so if you see here on the like interfaces Whenever this IKE info comes up, right? This IK info. If this is not coming up, this is related to phase one. And this is related to phase two. So if once the phase one will come up, then it will switch to phase two. So if phase one is not coming up, we have to check the IKE parameters. So IKE parameters, you have to look for the IKE gateway. You went to IKE gateway. So what are the things you have configured an IP gate, IKE gateway? Let's just check it. Uh, I think it is little slow. Yeah. So I check my gateway. If you see the parameters, what you have configured, you have config. If you just observe it, what are the things uh, you have configured? Uh, let me make it full screen. Mm -hmm. oh. Hold on. Yeah. So if you observe it here, the very important thing is our pre shared key. We have configured the pre shared key, it is type of a password. And most of the things, whenever our site to site VPN is down, the problem is with the pre shared key. It does not match to the other end. Let us suppose you have configured admin 123 on the Palo Alto 1, then it should be same admin 123 in the Palo Alto 2. Then only it will match. If it does not match, then what is going to happen? you will uh, can you can see the logs in the system logs i will just show you uh, but before that i want to show you this advanced options as well so here if you see uh, that exchange mode we are having right so make sure that we are having the same mode configured on both the ends either they are in main or aggressive or in auto they should not be uh, different with each other another thing if you see that is a ike crypto profile right so this ike crypto we have to we have used in this my gateway so now the we will be redirecting back to our ike crypto we have to check ike crypto as well to know the mismatch between the phase one tunnel configuration so here we are focusing on the phase one tunnel configuration we are trying to see that if the parameters configured on palo alto one for IK crypto are the same as the IK crypto parameters configured on Palo Alto 2. Right. So 
these parameters let us see if you say that okay these are fine then we can check the parameters from the ike crypto as well that you said you should be making sure that they are same parameters configured on both the ends or not so i was using the default profile so i went to default and you see that dh group i'm using group 2 let me parallelly open the palo alto 2 as well so you can just match them ike crypto and i go to default so this there will not be a mismatch because i'm using the default profile but sometimes whenever we are creating ike crypto uh, crypto profile according to ourselves or customized then there are chances of mismatch so if i see in the palo alto 2 the dh group we are using group 2 authentication we are using sha1 encryption methods we are using aes128 cbc and 3 dash and timers if you see they are 8 and 0 the same thing will be here on the palo alto 1 you see that there's no changes on that one so you have to make sure that there is a no mismatch in that if you observe there is mismatch then what is going to happen you can see in the monitor and here on the system logs you see that user admin access monitor tab connection to update server closed okay and the key manager sync call ip sync sa to flow exit another thing in the firewalls you can just check it uh, right now our tunnel is down so we uh, right so to verify what you can do you can go to the firewall let me log in and here you can see that is that sa or security association has been Conf, uh, like initiated from Palo Alto 1 to Palo Alto 2 or not. So how you can check the command is show VPN IKE SA and uh, gateway and gateway we are using my gateway in our case. So it is saying that IKE SA for gateway ID 1 not found. So it means that IKE SA is not established on this one. So obviously it has not sent to another uh, firewall. So how the traffic will come up. So now what you suspect that what can be causing it? That the IKE SA is not initiated. The problem is that we are not sending any interesting traffic. So that's why we are not seeing it the SA gateway ID not found. We can check it for the uh, phase two as well, but right now I'm focusing for uh, IK SA one, so that's why I'm telling you. Parallelly, you can uh, check uh, the logs in the IK manager logs. Uh, the command is less MP log and IK manager log. So here also you can check it. So that's like there's a large file, so that's really difficult to find that one, right? So no worries. But if there is a problem is too critical, you can just dump these logs and filter them or verify them carefully that why your tunnel is not coming up. So now let me initiate the traffic, our main cause, because the traffic was not coming and that's why our IKE SA negotiation was not initiated. So let me initiate some traffic. I'm going to ping. 10.1.3.1 and uh, oh again I'm pinging the wrong IP address so the IP address should be 3.10 yeah so now our traffic is initiated let me check the essay is it there or not so now you see that uh, we find IKE 1, right? So we see that show IKE V1 phase 2 SA, total 1 gateway found, 1 IKE SA found. So we found that 1 IKE SA. Let's check the logs on the firewall that what we see it here. So user, okay, these are the old, let me refresh it.
it's a little slow. No worries. Let me go to another one. System logs. We always check these types of things in the system logs, not in the traffic logs. So how the it was initiated? The first port is duplex, right? And uh, it is authenticated the users from this IP address 192.168.1.50. I think this is the login process. It is telling that when I logged on uh, to this uh, firewall, and then it is saying that connection to update server closed. Okay, that is trying to update it. Or is that fine? Now here the VPN starts. You see that uh, VPN types. These are our VPN. So in the first, it is initiating. IKE phase one negotiation is started as an initiator. So it has started from its end, and the same thing will be done from another end as well. Like the two way communication will be happening. This side will be sending logs on this, another side will be sending SA like that. Once it is done, now it is entering to the IKE phase one. Negotiation is succeeded as initiator main mode. So it, it used main mode established essay. So our essay was sent and accepted both together. Once it is done, now it has entered to IKE phase two. So IKE phase two negotiation is started as of now, right? It is started as an initiator. Now it has initiated the second phase. What is happening next? Now the IPsec key is installed. Essay. So now we have this one. And uh, now this is like user uh, access monitor tab. So I clicked on the monitor tab. So that's what it is telling here that I access this monitor tab here, right? Like this. Same thing uh, you can see in the Palo Alto one. Okay, it's still refreshed. So it's a little slow actually. So let me hit enter. Oh, I don't want to waste time. So let me show you like in the case whenever uh, we uh, do mismatch of the password, right? So let me go to network and uh, IK gateways, my gateway. And I don't remember the password. Most probably it will be admin123, but I'm going to delete some of the characters. Okay. Okay. Let me put it as admin here also admin. So they are matching at one end, but not at the other end. So another side, some other was there. And now let us see our tunnel is down or not. Our tunnel is still up, right? So let me clear because that is session is established. We have to tear it down first. So let me clear this one, clear VPN, IPsec, SA, tunnel, and uh, name was my tunnel. So when I did this, uh, now our tunnel will be down. So our session has been tear down. Uh, same thing I have to do for the phase one. So now phase two is down, but phase one is not down. So I can do for the phase one. So for that one, the command is IP say IP sec VPN IKE SA and uh, gateway my gateway. Now I have put down the phase one as well. I go to IP sake tunnel this. And uh, this tunnel will not come up if I initiate the traffic from here to there. So if I VPC2, I ping this. And it is pinging. That is not a problem, but it is not sending an encrypted traffic. And our tunnel will not come up. If I click it here, IP tunnels. Uh, 
Oh, it should not come up. I don't know why it is showing like that. Or oh, let me try to do once again. Or let me check the tab, what is happening here in the system. Succeeded, IK phase two, phase one, succeeded, responder. Oh, I did the mistake. I did not commit it, right? I changed the values, but I do not commit it. So meanwhile, let me tear down as well. All right. And this is turn and IP sec tunnels. And uh, now if I initiate the traffic from here, Oh, it is going timeout as well. So now, now it is not even sending our encrypted traffic. And if I see the system log, see this time. Then what it is going to tell you that IP sec key deleted. Okay, this is the thing that we did it. And after that, what it is doing? Let's check on the PA2. Then try to initiate this. Same thing on another one. Pink 10.1.2.10. It will be timed out. And now let us see the log scene. systems you see what it is saying now now it is saying that ike phase one negotiation is failed likely due to pre-shared key mismatch it is clearly telling that the pre-shared key mismatch is there and because of that your phase one is not able to come up now what i'm going to do i will just uh, go to Palo Alto one and I will fix this. So these are the things like we are doing for phase one. Now, what are the things we are going to do for the phase two? In for the case of phase two, we will focus on the IPsec crypto. The parameters on the IPsec crypto will be the same as in the Palo Alto two of the IPsec crypto. So we have to make sure that these parameters we see here for the encryption SHA as well as the DH group group two. This is basically for perfect forward secrecy PFS we call it as. So in the phase two also we use it. If you don't want to enable PFS, you can configure it as a no PFS. So these values are used for the PFS. Normally, and the, for the phase two also comes this tunnel comes in the picture, right? Uh, we configure this IPsec tunnels. So we have to go here and my tunnel and uh, make sure that IPsec crypto profile is same, right? That's what we checked it just now. And if you are configuring the tunnel between Palo Alto and to some other firewall like Cisco ASA or Fortinet firewall, then you have to check the Fortinet firewall policies and you have to troubleshoot it that why it is not coming up. So for that one, because our Fortinet uh, firewall is uh, or the Cisco SA firewall, they are policy based routing they do. So we have to configure a policy based routing on this proxy ID case. So that's why we have this place whenever we configure this proxy ID value, whenever we are configuring the side to side IPsec tunnel, to another vendors, not with uh, Palo Alto firewall. So if you are configuring between Palo Alto to Palo Alto, you need not to do anything with for configuring site to site VPN. All right, so that's what uh, that's what it was uh, regarding the site to site VPN troubleshooting in Palo Alto. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask. I will be happy to help you in troubleshooting because this is like very interview affinity topic. And most of the interview question and answers comes from this. So if you are looking for question and answers in the interview, 
you are giving for Palo Alto firewall, you should watch. Okay. Thank you guys. See you soon in the next video.